Hey guys, welcome to the Financial. This is Anatoly. Today we're doing an interesting review. We're reviewing HubSpot CRM integration for Jira, built by Resolution. I will show you guys how to find it. It will appear at the top. You can go to the description, check it out. This video is sponsored by them. I love this app and there are a lot of use cases where this will work. So let's talk about them first. HubSpot is a CRM, it's made for sales, for marketing. So how would people use HubSpot with Jira? Very easy. If you're a big company, there are different departments. There might be sales, marketing department, customer support department. There might be IT support department. So one way I see that working, you have a team that is doing, let's say, IT support. And there is, let's say, account manager and they will be talking to a client, taking some notes and then um, maybe creating a Jira issue and then this issue they will link everything they talk about so support people or developers can go to that issue and check out everything on HubSpot as well so instead of just copying and pasting a bunch of things makes it easier also HubSpot is very expensive so you don't want to onboard all your IT support there you just want to have uh, the link so they can go and get check it out so you save a bunch of money as well so those are two main things um, let's look at the app so you go to apps you go to explore your more apps which you guys know by now already here's the fun thing if you put HubSpot you see a bunch of integrations some of them are I think this one is made by HubSpot but as you might see it's not very popular one star pretty hard to use so we're not reviewing this one we are reviewing HubSpot Jira CRM issue link integration and collaboration again cloud security participant five stars amazing reviews you can click on it there's a really good video how it all works with some more use cases um, goes about all kinds of things but I know what you guys are interested in you guys are interested in pricing so let me show you the pricing page really quick and then we're gonna go set it up here's the pricing page as always up to 10 users it is free if we had 100 users we pay 0 0.90 cents per user which actually is pretty good considering that one user if you need them on board the HubSpot is like $80 so here $90 for 100 users I think that's a great deal also it is a very smooth app it works really well um, let me show you how it works so of course you need to add it you can do a free trial I already added it to check it out and then you go to apps and you go to manage your apps then we find HubSpot CRM for Jira we click configure and here you're getting this page I assume if you are watching that video you already have HubSpot installed if not go to HubSpot.com they have a free tier very nice uh, CRM so go check it out I use it for my businesses to track clients track conversations so for me this app is actually very useful so I'm assuming your HubSpot is set up I click create connection here here we are now I need to create connection name. This is very useful because you can have multiple HubSpots integrated here and it's per project, which is very, very useful. So I'll call it define agile IT support. Then here, it's also a very cool thing. You can select which users have access to this HubSpot integration. So I would recommend you create a group, add all the people to a group. I did create one and I added people to this group. And then I have a project as well, Define Agile IT Support. So only people have access who are in Define Agile IT Support and it will only work in this project. You can add multiple ones if you want. Then I click Save. And then when it's done, it, click, it needs to authenticate. So I click Authenticate. Here it shows me which um, HubSpot do I want to connect. If you have multiple, I have only one. I click Choose Account. And then boom, very easy. Literally in two minutes. I was so surprised because usually when I try to do things like that to integrate um, apps between each other, usually it takes me quite a while. But this one is just like instant, which I really, really appreciate. So it's connected. We're all good. Uh, now let's go check it out. So we go to our Define Agile IT support project. So here we are. This is my IT support project. I have one task here. We assume this is used by DevOps, developers. So website is not loading. 
let's say client talk to my account manager someone from sales or from customer support and they say you know what um, actually website is not loading and then they went to HubSpot because they use HubSpot on their end and they create a ticket in HubSpot, which you can do. And they say Anatoly contacted and website's not loading and then they put all the information. Or maybe somebody used online form to submit a ticket, which HubSpot allows to do as well. So we have this issue, we click on it. So I'm opening it, it's empty. I have no idea what's happening. Maybe I would need to contact Anatoly to ask more questions or maybe I just wanna know what was a confession on HubSpot? So as somebody who, who has access, they can just click on that. Uh, I am allowed to see a bunch of objects that HubSpot provide us, deal, company, contact, ticket. Let's say when I called, um, I, I'm as a client, I called account executive, we talked about it and they put a ticket in the HubSpot system that website is not loading. So now they wanna link this to Jira as well. So you click on ticket, then you search website not loading and here it is it's right from hubspot so then i click on it i click add selection to issue and then let's say we also want to know more about the person because we allow our t support to contact so i just say contact i select myself and then i click add selection to an issue so I did those two things, we close, and here we are. So then let's say a developer comes. Um, let's say this is done by maybe product owner or by developer itself, I don't know, but let's say product owner. So then it be goes into Sprint or a Kanban board, developer looks at it, still empty, but now we can go and check out this in HubSpot. So I can open my HubSpot, my website not loading, I can open it, and here's how it looks like. So we have activity. I see that new issue DAS1 linked to the contact. So it already had a note that the Jira issue was linked to HubSpot. And then um, we see that there is associated tickets. We can click on that. My website not loading. We can click on that ticket. And if we scroll down, we see the Jira issue. So everyone in a HubSpot as well can see, okay, what's happening with this issue? Is status still in a backlog? Or if a status is done, I know that I can go and inform Anatoly as an account executive. Okay, Anatoly, the issue is done. So it's very powerful. You can also look at what is this. You can open it in Jira back here. You can view more. You can have priority, description. You also can edit certain things. So if you click on view and edit issue, you can go and change a whole bunch of things. Let's say priority changed. You really want to make it a high priority now because Anatoly is calling us and like, you guys need to figure it out. And then you can put, uh, Anatoly called twice, he really needs it. Uh, which is not the best thing to put in the description, mostly in the comment. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's do it this way. Update your issue. Here we go. So we updated it right from HubSpot. You guys want to go and see what's happening on the Jira side? Let's do it. Back to my Jira project. I open it. And see, it's updated. Everything is here. So somebody was able from HubSpot to update my Jira description, which is very cool. It means that it's much less back and forth. I don't need to find the account executive, go to them and like beg them, please go update things. Um, you can just do it in one place. When everything new comes from the client, we can update one place, it updates in both places. So it keeps them all in sync very nicely. If you're a bigger company or you're very heavy in the marketing and sales and you need to keep track of what's happening in Jira tickets, I don't think there's a better option, to be honest. The HubSpot for Jira is the way to go. I'm gonna end here, guys. Hope it was useful. There are, of course, there are more use cases like that, but I just showed you the one that I'll definitely use for me. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. Please check out this amazing add-on. I'll put a link at the top and a description. Thank you, Resolution, for sponsoring this video. Really appreciate you guys. And I'll talk to you next one. Bye-bye.